Taste of the Town on CBS News Miami is sponsored by Goya. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Visit Goya.com today. All right, let's do it. Time now for an all-new Taste of the Town, and we're setting sail on an adventure to explore the flavors and freshness of even keel fish and oyster. Well, from lobster rolls to luxurious seafood towers, they've got it all. They're also giving back to the community at the upcoming Orange Bowl food and wine celebration. All right, CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo takes us to the latest hot spot in Fort Lauderdale's Los Olas Boulevard. <laughs> Part of Fort Lauderdale's Las Olas Boulevard, a charming hidden gem has recently opened, introducing modern American seafood and a raw bar experience at Even Keel Fish and Oyster. With its first successful location in Lauderdale by the sea, Even Keel promises something for everyone, catering to diverse tastes and budgets. Right, so you can come in with your shorts and you, you can come off the beach with your son or daughter, whatever, and get a lobster roll and a beer. Or you can walk in and get a bottle of Vuv with uh, a mega yacht that's, you know, $200 worth of seafood on it. So it's for everybody. This year, the restaurant proudly joins the lineup of the annual Orange Bowl food and wine celebration, showcasing its talents alongside more than 40 top restaurants and chefs in South Florida. Proceeds from this event on next Friday night benefit local charities, highlighting Even Keel's commitment to community. It's an opportunity to give back to the community, opportunity to kind of show uh, what we have to offer as far as uh, the restaurants go our versatility with the restaurant. Making a clam scarbonara, it's a shallot, smoked bacon and garlic base. Behind the scenes, executive chef and partner Chris Wilbur prepares our hot tasting dishes, while partners Brad Phillips and David McLennan assemble the iconic seafood tower. Ours features an array of delicacies, including oysters, conch salad, peel and eat shrimp, and exceptional house smoked fish dip. A lot of times, these are very mayonnaise-y. Yes. I taste pure fish kick, mm -hmm. fresh, I mean, I'd be dipping on that all day. Oh, yeah. Try to source as many local things as we possibly can and just keep fresh, you know, quality, local, and, um, you know, just like doing it. He's doing it right with this rich and creamy clams carbonara with bucatini pasta, fresh local clams, peas, bacon, shallots, black pepper, topped with a perfectly poached egg. We move on to chef specialty, crispy Florida yellowtail snapper served whole. Yeah, we, we fry this um, and we finish it with a, uh, on a bed of spinach with a little lemon oil and um, finish it with a uh, Castle Vetrana olive fennel cream and finish with capers and it's really, really good. Honestly, stop the presses on this fish. That is one of the best pieces of fried fish I've ever had. Thank you. That is just a delicacy. I mean, that is a stepped up elevated dish. Really tasty. Well, Dave is joining us now. We want you to know that the Orange Bowl food and wine celebration is on Friday, April 12th at 7.30 at the Seminole Hard Rock. More on that later. But tell us, Dave, how many days you're open? We're open seven days a week, and then we do brunch on Saturday and Sunday. Sounds like fun to me. Yeah. For more information, go to our website at cbsnewsmiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrillo with Taste of the Town, CBS News Miami.